welcome to Eugene's Speech Language Therapy. Believe it or not, every year, one in 25 people will experience a swallowing disorder. Elderly people get hit the hardest. Conservative estimates show that 22% of people over the age of 50 have a swallowing problem. Other populations affected are people with degenerative disease like Parkinson's disease, dementia, ALS, or MS, as well as people with throat cancer who have had surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation. However, one of the largest groups of people who have experienced a swallowing problem are people who have had strokes. Some studies show that up to 78% of people who have had a stroke have a swallowing problem. To those of you who have a loved one who is aging or has had one of the prior mentioned diagnoses, it's really important to understand what swallowing disorders are. First, swallowing disorder is called dysphagia. Second, dysphagia is very dangerous. It causes dehydration, malnutrition, weight loss, choking, aspiration pneumonia, chronic lung disease, and death. Dysphagia also causes embarrassment, decreased socialization or isolation, decreased pleasure in eating, and increased caregiver burden. Common signs and symptoms to look for. Weight loss, drooling or loss of food or drink from the mouth, coughing while eating or drinking, complaints of food sticking in the throat, pain when swallowing, repeated bouts of pneumonia, long chewing time, and pocketing of food in the cheeks. Pocketing of food in the cheeks is when someone, for instance, who has dementia and has decreased awareness in general, or who has had a stroke and has decreased sensory feedback in the cheek, won't feel or notice there's food still hanging out in their mouth. And they'll even find that stuck in their mouths hours later. This is not an exhaustive list and I will be posting more videos on this topic. How do we treat dysphagia? After a comprehensive evaluation is completed by a swallowing specialist, often a speech language pathologist, there are many treatment options. Strengthening with oral motor and swallowing exercises, strategies for how to swallow in different positions and with different timing, adapting the food texture and the liquid consistency, biofeedback with live visuals, electrical stimulation, which is used to re-educate the muscles of the swallow, Adaptive equipment like certain types of weighted utensils or cups making it easier to use. Changing the pacing or amount of food intake. Sensory stimulation with different tastes or temperatures. And there are medical options. For instance, medicine for reflux or feeding tubes. It's important to note that while many people with dysphagia are very motivated to improve their swallow, in some populations, for instance, the elderly, people in their 90s who are sick and may not get better, swallowing is one of the first signs for someone's decline to end of life. While you want the person to be safe, you also want them to have a good quality of life. So it's important to educate them on what their options are, work with a speech therapist, and listen to their needs and what they want as well. Thank you for watching and I will